Canadian migration minister spoke uh, about his current statements. He has given a lot of answers and he wanted to clarify what is the meaning of his past statement which he did for international students. And he also spoke about skilled worker and the current immigration programs. He also spoke about future new rules for Canadian immigration system. And he told that we are not against migrants, <clears throat> migrants over assets. And specifically he told that how current housing crisis uh, what is the relationship of uh, mig migrants with the housing crisis so almost he has given all answers which uh, he was giving statement and media was reporting youtubers were reporting therefore this clip is very important first of all he tell one thing that when you are entering Canada by one specific visa you have obligation you have responsibility to follow the rules of that visa it's very it's very uh, uh, straightforward that if you are entering tourist visa it means you are genuine tourist and you are visitor and you will not convert your tourist visa into the work permit similarly if you are coming to canada according to migration minister immigration minister mark miller that if you're going for the student visa it means you are student in your first destination your primary destination and your primary objective is to get qualification and after getting qualification after getting quali qualification when you will pass the qualification you have no right to stay in canada canada offers you work permit but technically your destination is over that's something else you get work permit or not but if you are planning to stay permanently that is not primary destination so he wants that you have to follow rules and laws regarding student visa similarly if you are coming for skilled work visa you have to follow the rules of skilled work visa definitely the people changing their companies he also much worried that many companies are giving money uh, to sell their work permit we, they are telling we will allow only those companies they genuinely need overseas workers he also told limia approved companies we are decreasing because most of the companies uh, their job holders mean that the employee they want they are available in canada the first priority must be canadian citizen canadian people who are living in canada Normally, we have seen that people are selling their work permits. We are going to shun this error. It's very true. Many companies who are in Canada, like from Asian countries, Asian countries uh, uh, people, they always want to go to Canada at all cost. And uh, there are many news and it's very true. They are giving money to purchase the work permit. They give money to the companies and companies uh, give them work permit. Canadian uh, immigration system, uh, main objective of work permit is that the person who is not available in Canada and the skilled person who is not available in Canada companies can demand that overseas person from other countries but if that individual is present in Canada so that person is demanding being demanded from the overseas this system technically have no reason and have no benefit therefore Mark Miller is telling we prefer those companies that do who can only uh, demand who can only uh, import the overseas skilled workers which are not present in Canada and who are not taking money from the skilled workers that's the main point he has told because as I told work permits are being sold by the companies he also told about international students that yes i have given a lot of statements regarding international students and my uh, i am uh, uh, strict in those statements because there are several students who change college and when they are changing college they did not inform ircc we are making rules that now you cannot change the college we are keeping data of each student we are in contact with the students by direct email we are in contact with the students with the college we are also advising provinces to be touch in the students and if the students will change the college and if the students will not complete their studies because they entered canada to complete education if the students will not follow the student rules and regulation they will not they will work more than allowed and if they will not study and will work more or they will switch their student visa to working visa in these in during their studies we straightforward will cancel study permit of that student so he told very clearly 
that if you want to stay in Canada, you have to follow rules and regulations. And if you want to come to Canada by a skilled worker, you have to search genuine companies. And also they are, they are informing companies also. We also give license, LIMIA approved work permits will be given only to those companies. They will give us proof that this man, which are being imported from other countries, is is a much skilled person and such skilled job person is not available in canada it's like uk uk also currently make made a rule that if you want to give work permit you have to advertise in the newspaper for one month we will wait if there is any no person it uh, will be suitable from the uk mean that that job is not being fulfilled by uk citizen and uk people are not suitable for that job you think they lack skills then you can import such person from overseas. Similarly, Canada also telling Limia mean approved mean that if any company want to give work permit to overseas person, they need to approve this work permit from the Limia. This is a sister organization of IRCC. So they are instructing Limia that they need to check that this person who is coming to Canada is uh, has those skills which is technically required in that job, and such person. Uh, confirming that such person is not available in Canada that's why this company is importing so that selling purchasing of the work permit and Mark Miller said right because huge money in dollars are being paid by these skilled workers from the overseas they are selling their properties they are selling their houses to get the work permit of the Canada I think that's not fair companies if they are uh, inviting because that's the need of the company the skilled worker give must be given facility because they are given job. When you are giving them job, you must give them air ticket. You must give them expenses of the visa. You must give them house when they reach Canada. And in contrast, you are taking huge many thousand dollars from him that we are offering you work permit, which is not fair. Another thing, which is a very positive sign, Mark Miller told, housing crisis is being stitched with the migrants. <clears throat> we confirm that housing crisis 100% is not strict with, uh, with, with with the migrants. However, some percentage uh, we can say that migrants are responsible for housing crisis. I recorded the clip and you listen my YouTube channel in which I confirm that Australia, <coughs> UK and USA putting all pressure on the migrants, especially they're targeting students. Why they're targeting students? Because they knew that students uh, are uh, paying fee and after getting degree, they will go back by your statements. And after that, they are useless for us because they have no work permit. And some students have skilled, we can permit them, but we will not permit all students to work in Canada. They, they are, you, you will listen one thing, they will not speak much against skilled workers. They will not speak much against the professional people who are migrants, uh, like doctors, nurses, and uh, that, that, that's, uh, that's very essential. All, all countries are talking about students and that's a similar words from the Mark Miller that we are not against uh, migrants and migrants are not the root cause of housing crisis and also he told one thing that's very essential he told undocumented individuals who are currently present in Canada we may give them asylum and asylum seeker applications he told are increased from 24,000 to the 74,000 due to which what is happening we are going to decrease asylum seeker applications we are taking substantial step to decrease the asylum seeker and also he told the persons who are undocumented if they are in the field of construction and healthcare we will give them work permit thank you very much